I'm going to turn you to a few different scriptures, but I'm going to start actually, and I feel I have to start in Luke 21, because uh, people in Luke 21 were coming and questioning, and um, Jesus saw rich men casting their gifts into the treasury, saw a widow with her two mites, and said, this widow has given more than anybody else because they gave out of their abundance, their plenty. She gave out of the little that she had. But he's then going on in his sayings, these things which you see, the days will come in which there will be not stone, one stone upon another that will not be thrown down, and that is the temple. And so in verse 7, they then ask Jesus, saying, Master, but when shall these things be, and what sign will there be coming to pass when these things shall happen? And he says in verse 8, Take heed that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I'm Christ. As time draws near, don't go after them. Verse 9, When you will hear of wars and commotions, don't be terrified, for these things must first to come to pass, for the end is not yet. Then he said unto them in verse 10, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Now, you're beginning to touch on the situation that we have at the moment. We have had in this world virtually constant war in one part of the globe or the other for, for a century. Because people are even beginning to say now that uh, if you look at it logically, the war which started the First World War in 1914 didn't actually finish in 1918. If you look, it didn't actually finish. There was an armistice. And many are saying that that war which didn't finish precipitated the Second War, which to us started in 39, for some of you 41 or whatever, which finished in 1945. But the fighting has not stopped, and today there is a massive appeal going on because of fighting in so many different places. Uh, I see there was a recent uh, appeal for Ethiopia because a minority are being virtually exterminated, the Tigray tribes. And in uh, and even places like Afghanistan, where uh, the fighting hasn't stopped. You know, <laughs> we've never, in Britain, we've fought, I don't know how many, is it 10 or 11 f f wars in Afghanistan? We've never won one of them. The Russians tried, they didn't win. The Americans tried, they didn't win. And so there is a state of war. And surprisingly, having lived for so many years under the Cold War, which really began after the Russians conquered a large section of Europe at the end of the Second World War and persisted until the beginning of the 1990s. Um, but now we're hearing that there is another Cold War, that Russia is rearming, that uh, in Britain we are reassessing our response to this and that there is a threat from China. So in verse 9, when you shall hear of wars and commotions, don't be terrified. So really what I'm trying to do is encourage you and I'm going to encourage you on two things. Firstly, don't be terrified by these because Jesus says um, these things must first come, but the end is not yet. And then he said, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And he says, great earthquakes, famines, pestilences, fearful sights, great signs. So what actually we've seen, there is a rise in the number of earthquakes. That's literally true. Uh, there are famines in so many sections of the world today. 
and pestilence as well. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> At the moment, we're being told virtually that COVID is the worst pestilence uh, sort of in history. At least they're certainly treating it like that. There, I don't think there has been a time when there has been any single sickness or disease that's had such um, attention as COVID. And we're still living with it. So what I'm really trying to say is that when they began to ask Jesus about the coming of the kingdom, he described many of the things that would happen. And in fact, I, I, I can look further in, in uh, Luke 21. But what I'm trying to say is this. The real message of Jesus, and I'm saying this a lot at the moment, it's not the first time you've heard me and it's not the last time, because what I'm looking at is very clearly in the scripture that when you study the ministry of Jesus, he talks more about the kingdom of God, the coming kingdom, than he does even about salvation deliverance. And although the healing ministry of Jesus was phenomenal, yet he really came not just to um, bring healing, he came to preach a message of a coming kingdom that we could enter and be freed from this.